Yep, there you go. I was like about to say, maybe he doesn't come this way. Come on over here. Yeah, fine. Just eat it. I was hoping that maybe I could lure him to somewhere and get us out of this cave. There you go. Now you should be fully satisfied with food. Hi. Let me know if you spot anything, buddy. Okay, now that I have this shield, maybe there's something I can use it on to get us out of dodge. The beast at my side. I raise the mirror. Sure, why not? I raise the mirror. Whoa! Holy crap! I made it shoot out of its- The lightning that flew from the beast's tail took me greatly by surprise. Yeah, it did. Whoa. Could it really have been summoned by the mirror? Look at it! Like, all surprised! Or no, it's not surprised. It's just- it's just- it's- it's lightning face. Wow! Neat. So I need to use lightning somewhere. Maybe this wall. Hey, come over here. We're gonna shoot this wall. Ha ha! Good job, boy. Okay. We gotta go through here. We've made our way out. I have the ability to call upon lightning at will. Well, as long as he's near me. Hey, come on through. I'd heard of these great man-eating beasts many times from the Elder. Yet in spite of the terrifying tales, I felt no fear. None at all. You're a liar. Look at this fucking place. Okay, maybe I'm not afraid of Trico anymore, but the, I can still die to everything else around here. And he's so big, he probably doesn't even need to care about the gaps. <laughs> he just casually walks over them. Uh-oh. Be careful about that, Trico. Don't want you to slip and fall or something. Now where the heck am I? We're once again in another set of ancient ruins. But this place is pretty pleasant. I don't know if we can trust whatever's in that water, but... I think I'm willing to jump down. <laughs> okay. Can I dive? Oh no. I can. That means we're gonna have puzzles that involve swimming. Or rather, diving down to grab something. Get the fish! Crap. What, you afraid of the water? It's not gonna hurt you. Look, you can hurt it. I mean, not really, but you can hit it with lightning. <laughs> okay. I was hoping that would do something neat. Like electrocute everything. Maybe get some food for ourselves, but that didn't happen. All right, I guess we're just gonna have to head into the structure and see what's inside of it. Maybe we can open up a way for him to come through. 
Because he might be just straight up afraid of water. I mean... You're huge, but whatever. He could stand in it, man. Oh, uh... Shoot the door. Nice! Oh, I, I got knocked back. Didn't expect for that to happen, but we've made it in. Oh. This was a nice big chain to jump onto. You know, just coming from Eco, I like these chains. I guess I can swing on them too? No. Interesting. Oh, jeez. I pressed X to jump. Because <laughs> instinct. That's my own fault, I guess. That wasn't the default function of Eco. Okay. Uh, ooh, there's more food for him. Well, I can lure him with food and he'll jump into the water properly. Did I just climb all the way to the top? Oh. I was gonna try jumping from the side, but it wasn't letting me do it. Okay, we should be good now. Uh, I'm trying to grab onto this, not use my mirror. I think I'm gonna have to just... Push this down. And throw it into the water or something. There you go. Did you hear that, boy? It's the sound of scrumptious food! Oh, you're gonna make me carry this all the way over there. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna toss it. I'm gonna toss all three of these over to the door. So I have to like try and make my way up and down. Cause I don't know if I can actually can I climb up? Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought there was gonna be like some big problem. Hey Trico! You want this food, huh? Go get it! Ha! <laughs> he went for the first one! Holy crap! Oh my god! I guess I should have expected that. <laughs> there you go, boy. Okay. I've got some more for you. Here. What am I even feeding you, man? Here. He like perks up at me like, whew, that was delicious. Huh. Okay. He's kind of eyeballing another area. We might have to use him to climb up over here. But it didn't look that hard to climb up. Right? Oh no, that's a lot higher than I thought it was. Okay, cool. Is he jumping? Oh, Jesus! This isn't what I thought was gonna happen at all. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. I'm on your head. I'm gonna pet it too. Look, just move forward. Okay, fine. There. I'm sure it's weird having someone just stand on your head expecting you to move forward. Can I just climb through here? I can. Neat! Okay, Trico. You stay here. You creepy looking thing. And... I'm gonna check out where this light's coming from. Is that the way out? Well, outside? Ooh. Okay. He's probably gonna break through this. I should jump. Well, this is goodbye. I must go home to my village. 
Farewell? He's totally willing to ditch this thing inside. It's gonna break through. I'm, he's just like, yep. No worries. I'll see you later, man. And... Holy shit, that's not what I thought he was gonna do at all. No, stop following me. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> okay, you are silly if you think that we could prevent this thing from following us. I think we're, we're, uh, we're gonna need Trico's help to get out of here anyways. We'd escape the dank confines of the cave. And emerge into a place the likes of which I'd never seen. I mean, you are a kid, so that actually applies to, like, the majority of places in the world. Oh, you can't fly? Are your wings broken? I mean, they are a little lopsided. Maybe they'll get better in the future. We can mend them. I would not realize until much later. But now I was in the heart of the beast slayer. The nest. The what? That's not good. Hey. I'm gonna pet you on the back of your head, okay? It'll be alright. <laughs> Okay, alright. I'm getting off. There's gotta be something that we can do in this area. Maybe to ascend? He can't fly, so it's gonna be up to us. Get out of here. What are you do what are you yelling at? Maybe he maybe he misses home. I mean I'm pretty sure it just seems like Trico's young. He's got these tiny little wings that don't even look like they could support his weight. He doesn't have, like, grown horns or anything. He just has, like, stubs. So interest me. Hi. Whoa. Okay. I think I have to jump over here, friend. Although, that's a dangerous prospect, I suppose. Okay. What are we doing? Ah! I see, there's actually... ...a ledge I can go, go along over here. Yeah. I hope. Not gonna look back. You'll be there. I just don't want to fall. Thankfully the camera in this game is a little bit more attached to us than Eco. Thank God for 15 years of game development. Okay. Climb the convenient chain. Don't know what it's here for. Or who was tasked with like pinning it into the wall. I feel bad for them though. Shush over there. He's like either calling out to home or he just fucking wanted to roar. Watch him like end up leaping across these things to join us. Whoa, not what I'm trying to do. Okay. Oh god, he's doing it. Yeah, that's really risky, man. That doesn't look stable at all. <laughs> He's trying to follow us. <laughs> yeah, okay. You can do it, man. Come on, just just a couple more jumps. I like how, during cutscenes, my dialogue is translated. Jesus. But during, uh, normal gameplay, we don't get to find out, what am I saying? Like, get over here! 
Jump! Yip, yip. I'm just saying random crap out of Yip Yap! I like the little like dance I do sometimes if I'm uh if I'm holding R1. <laughs> what am I doing? Am I like trying to tell him, go this way? Uh, Alright, well I know what I gotta do. There's a giant wooden structure over here. And wood is susceptible to lightning strikes. Whoa! Jesus! I'm dead. I'm right next to it, man. Look how close I am. Aww, man. I was hoping... Did you see my leg, by the way? I was hoping I could just go straight over there. But I guess we can't. Not for now. The physics of the world don't always work in our way. You could totally make this jump! Or, you know, that too. That's smart. That's the better idea. Okay. So what is going on with this area over here? For a second I saw uh, the grate and I thought maybe this was going to be like a box puzzle room. Drop the boxes to open up a gate. But I'm not sure. Hey! Can you find a way to climb over this time? I doubt it. Hey. Hey, bring your head down here so I can give it pets. I can press O while doing it. I have to learn like the different actions. So if I press O, I like clap. If I hold square, I like. I mean, this could just be my normal punching stuff. <gasps> I made him bring his head down. Okay. So if you hold R1 and then press X, you can make him bring his head down. For head scratches. I get it. So, it, it's kind of functionally what we're doing. So I can tell him to grab on his stuff probably if I- if with O. I can make him lower his head with X, which is crouch for us. I can probably make him jump by doing triangle. And then square, I can make him attack stuff. I just have to find my way... ...over that area. Is this- is this all this area is here for? Try to see if I can make him jump across the way. I feel the uh, the yeah. There he goes. I feel him walking in my PlayStation controller. There's just vibrations. Hey! You can make the jump. I think it's the only way that we're gonna be able to get you over here. Jump! Jump! Jump over here! Holy shit! Oh, 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 okay, you didn't give me time to get out of the way, buddy. But good job. Lower your head. I'm gonna give you pets for understanding what's up. Aw, oh, I don't even have to pet his head, I can pet his leg. Okay. Ooh, hey, I think there's food over here. Here. Lightning bolt this. Aha! You now have superheated food to eat. I wonder if this is like... I wonder if there's just hidden ones like this. That, uh, you don't have to get them. Ah. But if you find them, you can build up a better trust with them. Or something. Here. He doesn't want to eat them when they're- when I'm holding it, so... 
Yeah, just toss him towards him. Alright, so what do we have in here now that we've solved how to bring him over? We see there's a couple of places for us to climb. And a big giant corridor thing over there. I'm gonna go check that out. <laughs> He's like a biscuit in the area. Yeah, me too, buddy. <laughs> Okay. We have this big gate thing. Hey. Give me, let me, let me pet you. It's, 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 it's needed. It's really necessary. God damn it. He just keeps knocking me around. Okay. Let's try bringing him over here so we can climb up. Come on over here! What are you looking at? Something caught his attention. Is it gonna be food? It's probably gonna be food. He's like sniffing around going, I smell something! Whoa, 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 Trico, 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 Trico. I am trying to use your head as a jumping board. There. <gasps> to get across over here. Okay. No, I could possibly jump over there, but we have all this area over over here to climb to instead. So I'm gonna check that out. This is risky as hell. Who knows how actually uh strong these pieces of brick are being held up against the wall, too. Is he gonna climb up? <laughs> Just jump on that little ledge? That could barely hold him? He's eyeballing it, man. Uh, okay, there's a chain over here. <gasps> hey! <laughs> he finally looks up and goes, where is it going? I don't know where I'm going either, buddy, but you stay down here. I'll be back. There's gotta be something over here that can help me help you. Okay, we have a door to destroy with lightning. Oh, hey, some food. Maybe I can lure him up here. Like, he just climbs the wall by himself because he's just that hungry. Whoa, Gecko! Look at it! Wait. Holy shit! He climbed up here already! Hey! Didn't expect that. Didn't see him jump. Damn it. I'm trying to attack the Gecko. Ah, if I eat it, maybe it'll give me life. Yeah. Damn it. Fine. All right, Trico. Open the door. Okay. We are the stick. Get the. I'm going to give him I'm going to give him scratches. Just nice little pets. <laughs> he packs away. No more of that, young one. Whoa. Okay, there's obviously a little cave for me to wander through. Will I pop out on the other side and he'll just jump over the gate? I didn't even see, like, how he scaled the wall. Whoa. Okay. Up on over, friend! He's looking at the cave we went through. Up oh, there he goes. Yep, yep. 
Now that's a land of me, friend. You are huge. I can't even see him because of all the trees. Okay. I'm gonna climb on top of him and see if I can get a better vantage point of this area. Or, you know, just have my vision obscured by more trees! He's looking at something. What are you looking at, buddy? Is there food below here? Hey! <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know what you're looking at, but I'm gonna try and get us out of here a little bit more. Navigate ourselves to the trees. What is he staring at? <laughs> he just keeps looking at the ground like there's something down there. I got an idea. Lightning bolt! The gecko! Damn it! It got away. Fine. I'm moving on, buddy. To a more open area. He's like super hunched over. I don't know if he's trying to like get underneath the trees or if he's like scared of this area because you know there's low visibility. I don't know. What are you looking for over here? This is probably just a sheer drop. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a. Uh that's a no. What the hell is that, though? Oh, they're like little rings just kind of holding up there. Oh. <laughs> He's doing some more roaring. We have to find him roar spots. Don't know if he'll do anything conclusive, but we can always do cool things, like just make him lightning bolt those rings up there. Alright, that's not happening. There's another giant bridge... ...looking thing, but it actually might not be a bridge at all. Ooh, okay. Let's keep going, Trico. Try not to squash me, jeez. Ah, uh, there's another wall that he it looks like he could scale. But not for me. Not for me. What am I looking for? There might be a cave or something for me to climb on. I see a little bit of something here. Oh, it was just... It was just a rock not loading in. Or maybe it was just a shadow. I thought I saw an opening. Okay. We're not gonna find anything out here, probably. That means... what we're looking for is in... What? Actually, I think we came from here. So this doesn't go anywhere. Hmm. Well... If I'm not supposed to climb that... Maybe we can make him jump over the wall. With me on his back. Okay. Now jump over the wall. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> I was correct! I saw no way to climb, so I assumed that he would have to do the climbing for us! 
Good boy. All right. Whoa, what the heck is this? Uh, I think he's afraid of it. Okay, we'll get rid of it, buddy. Get out of here, scary eye looking thing. You're welcome. Okay. There, there. It'll be all right. The big scary eyeglass thing is gone. I wonder what that's for. Like, is it legitimately there to scare he saw, he saw big it. creatures like this? Oh, he's stretching out. Okay. Let's explore a little bit more. I wonder if he can just lightning bolt those things, like from a distance, if they aren't spooking him. That would be interesting. Ooh. I see a lever for us to pull. And more glowing rune things. Hmm. What? What? What are you yelling at? <laughs> you can't just, like, yell at an area, whoa, and then just start heading towards it automatically. Grr, I'm angry at that place! Well, time to walk towards it. Although I guess when you consider that we're all confined in here, there's no real choice about that, is there? You're always heading towards a not-so-decent place. Yeti. Hurry it up, buddy! We got another exit over here! Or, well, another nice little vista to look at. 